this video is on capacitors in parallel. It's pretty cut and dry. Uh, capacitors in parallel, they add up uh, just like resistors in series. So if you have C1, C2, and C3, these three capacitors in parallel, the way you add them is you just say C1 plus C2 plus C3 plus, and that's it. And if you have any more capacitors, you just tack them right on. You just add them straight up. So here's a real quick example. If I have uh, one capacitor, uh, C1, in parallel with capacitor C2, if these two capacitors are parallel, the way you add them up to find the total capacitance in parallel, you just say uh, C1 plus C2, and that's it. And just plug in the value. So 100 farads plus 1 farads equals to 101 farads. And that's just how you add up uh, capacitors in parallel. So, I mean, even if I have, let's say, five capacitors, and let's say, uh, let's say C1 is equal to one farad, this is equal to two farads, and this is equal to three farads, and this would be equal to five, uh, five probably isn't a good number, let's say four farads. Oh, God, so sloppy, four farads, and this is equal to five farads. Even if that's still the case, it doesn't matter how many capacitors you have, they just add up the same way. So this would just be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And uh, that's how you would add them up. And you'd get, uh, let's see, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15. So you would get 15. And that's what the capacitance would be. So the capacitance in parallel for this entire circuit over here would just be 15. And that's because capacitance, they in parallel, they just sum together. You just add them right up. So hopefully in tests you'll get the capacitors in parallel, which makes it pretty nice. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and good luck in your classes.